Hey guys, it's me, Moth Marauder, and for today's figure review video, we're going to be looking at the 2017 Bandai Movie Monster Series Burning Godzilla. First, like always, let's take a look at the tag. Here is Burning Godzilla's tag. You have a nice picture of Burning Godzilla on the, on the front. And you have, uh, I'm guessing, is the Godzilla icon seal thing. And if you can't tell, uh, that looks like it's the 1962 Godzilla from King Kong vs. Godzilla. So, yeah. Burning Godzilla, where your thumb is at. Here's the inside. Here's the actual Godzilla icon seal thing. So, yeah. Here's the silhouette of Godzilla, which looks pretty cool. Burning Godzilla. So, yeah. And here's the back. You have a nice shot of his. Well, you have a nice picture or silhouette of his dorsal plates. So yeah, I like what they did with the back of the uh, tag, and made it shape similar to the dorsal plates, or like trace them or outline them or whatever. I think it looks nice. Or I think it makes it look pretty neat. So yeah, that's the tag. Pretty cool tag. And now into the figure itself. Detail. Now, like I said, this is the 2017 Movie Monster series Bandai Burning Godzilla. Um, but I'll get into more of that when I go well talk about rarity. Anyways, um now on to detail. Um this is well when it comes to accuracy, this is pretty accurate. Um like of course he has the um the burning uh, stuff all over his body, like on the legs and the chest and the stomach, although that's morally... Or, ah, God damn it. Although that's pretty much paint job, but... Well, well, if you take away the paint job, this is, well, pretty accurate. I mean, it's the same suit, just the only real difference is that, you know, they added the, the orange stuff, the burning orange stuff, which is actually, from what I've read up, a um, bunch of... Uh, lights and stuff which is pretty cool I mean of course that makes the most sense so yeah this if for those of you that don't know this is from the 1994 Heisei Godzilla suit from Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla so yeah they decided to use it again in Godzilla vs. Destroya and you know give it the burning Godzilla you know spots on him and stuff well I shouldn't say spots but I don't know what else to call these markings whatever but yeah um, like I said, this is pretty accurate. Looks a lot like the Heisei Godzilla, like it should be. And the texture is just absolutely amazing. So, yeah. As you can see, um, there's already, well, you can already see all the bumps on the body. Like, on um, the legs, the neck, the arms, and, uh, the orange parts, uh, well, the orange parts show the the scales a lot more, which is pretty cool, actually. So, yeah. You know, the face there looks... He looks pissed off, which makes sense, of course, you know? He's usually pissed off most of the time, either at humanity or another kaiju. So, yeah. And uh, the dorsal plates look fucking amazing. I mean, they're very nicely sculpted. However, um, I don't understand why they're facing, um, I shouldn't say upward, but they're facing more like that, if you know what I mean? Like they're um, curved upwards, or it's, it's hard to explain, but it kind of reminds me of the American Godzilla, or Zilla. It reminds me of Zilla's dorsal plates on how those are facing um, forward. Yeah, that's it, forward. Not upward. These are facing forward. So, yeah, I just find that to be kind of weird. And another thing that kind of bugs me is how the bottom jaw is slightly, and I mean slightly, shorter than the top jaw. Kind of like the Bandai Creations GMK Godzilla toy. But aside from those two, um, the texture, well, accuracy and all that is just fucking amazing. So, yeah, like it's really accurate and the texture is just absolutely amazing. 
Oh, and I forgot to show you, of course, the detailed texture on the tail. That's a nice long tail here. And the feet. Hands and claws and stuff. So, yeah. I mean, just look at that. Fucking amazing. So, yeah. Now on to paint job. Um, paint job on here is really accurate and really nice. Um, well, of course, he has his traditional gr charcoal gray color. Honestly, I think this is almost... Or I think this is pretty much a black color instead of charcoal gray or just gray. So, yeah. Which is really accurate. And, of course, he has the orange um, stuff on his body. Which looks really nice. I mean, it's not... In the movie, it wasn't really metallic looking like this, but... This... This looks okay. Looks okay. So... Yeah, it'll do, I guess. The dorsal plates are, of course, orange. Along with the shoulders there. So in the face is the red tongue, which looks really nice. And the teeth are actually a different color than the claws and the toes. Well, I think. Well, the claws on his hands, but I'm not sure about the uh, claws on his toes or whatever. But yeah. And uh, so you can see here, um, let me focus this thing. There we go, just look at that. I really like what they did with his eyes, even if they do look kind of derpy or whatever. Oh, shit. So, sorry, I accidentally budged the, I accidentally moved the camera a little bit, or the iPhone a little bit. But yeah, I mean, look at the eyes, they're just really, really cool looking. Well, like I said, pissed off and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it for paint job. Really, really nice. And, um, well, yeah. Uh, the previous Bandai Burning Godzilla figure, um, it had, it wasn't metallic color. Like, it didn't have the orange metallic. Instead, it had the, uh, well, it had a reddish-orange color, which looked slightly more uh, accurate than this. However, there was barely any of it on here. So, yeah. And the Burning Godzilla figure by Bandai Creations, I think, has the best paint job. Although, that's not Bandai Japan. That's Bandai Creations. But, yeah. Paint job on here is still pretty, pretty darn accurate. Or, pretty damn accurate. Whatever. So, yeah. Paint. I mean, not paint job. Articulation. He has five points of articulation. The arms move in and out like that. His body obviously gets in the way, so that's why they don't... Well, his... They don't go 360 because his body obviously gets in the way. The head moves 360, although I usually feature the head moving at the, well, during the last part of articulation, but whatever. The head moves 360 pretty easily. And the legs move. I'm actually surprised I can move them 360, you know, with Godzilla's uh, body mass and bulk and built and stuff, you know. You'd think that you would, well, you would think that it would be very hard to move the legs 360. I mean, they're not as you know loose as like the arms and the head, but you can still move them 360. Sorry about that. Once again, I move the camera down. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it for articulation. He has four. There is a glued area on the tail, but, well, yeah. Don't, well, like I've said many times before, don't mess with the glue seals. I don't know how many times I have to fucking say that. But yeah, there's a glued area, so that obviously doesn't count. So yeah, five points for articulation. Let me move this up a little bit. There we go. And last but not least, Rarity. Now, like I said before in this video, this is the 2017 Bandai Burning Godzilla. There is the previous one I mentioned, in which it had the more accurate uh, orange paint job stuff, but it didn't really have a lot of the orange stuff. And then you have the Bandai Creations one, which has a lot of the orange stuff, which I think looks the most accurate of all the three. But, 
Yeah. Um, unlike those two figures, this figure being made in, or released or whatever in 2017 should be pretty darn common. So, yeah. Like, it's the most common of the three, and do I recommend it? Absolutely. Especially if you like the Burning Godzilla design or version like I do. So, yeah. I mean, if you want... I mean, all three of the figures, paint jobs look nice, but... If you want my advice, go for the one that costs the less, and that would, of course, be this one. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for rarity. Um, rarity and all that is... For this figure's that? Well, it's pretty damn rare. I mean pretty damn common. So that's pretty much it for this review video. Um, detail and paint job is really nice. Well, detail is really nice, although there are a couple of, uh, uh, I shouldn't say flaws, but there are a couple of stuff I think they should have worked on. Like the dorsal plates facing forward and the bottom jaw being slightly shorter. And, um, well, aside from that, detail is really, really good. The paint job is really nice. Articulation, he has five. And rarity, he is very common. Well, when it comes to this Burning Godzilla toy. In the end, I give the figure a 4 out of 5. A 4 because of, you know, the, the dorsal plates facing forward instead of up. And uh, the bottom jaw being shorter than the upper jaw. So, yeah. Aside from that, this is an awesome figure. I mean, this is probably one of my... Probably one of my... Uh, Newer favorites out of the Bandai Japan figures. Probably even more than the Final Wars Godzilla. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have, give it a like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you want. So, yeah. Once again, that score is a 4 out of 5, and I'll see you guys in the next video.